less than 3% of money raised from these massive projects is going to stay in New Zealand. So it's not about money, you know, New Zealanders are going to get nothing from this project of seabed mining coming here. Then you have all the dangers of losing the Maui's dolphin, losing the sand, stirring up toxins on the seafloor, and who knows what else, dead zones being created wherever they do the mining. So really, you know, for New Zealanders, this is an issue that is going to affect everyone. And so everyone needs to ask the question, does New Zealand need this? If, if people think that it's too late for the Maui dolphin, then all they need to do is look at other stories of cetaceans making comebacks. So humpback whales on the east coast were down to just a couple hundred in the 70s. Now we have nearly 14, 15,000 migrating our coast every year. Then you have the Tongan humpback whale population making comeback from just 55 as well. So there's a real similar story there where when it came to the critical point where this animal needs protection, the people in Tonga stood up and made the decision to do that. And now that population has increased to a couple thousand. There is enough time to save the Maui's dolphin, but it's up to all of us to take the steps to do that. And what people have to do is make their voice be heard. Actions like this, you know, really the governing bodies of this country in New Zealand work for the people. And if the people want the Maui's dolphin protected, then that's what needs to happen. It's amazing to feel such community motivation and people willing to come out and make their voice be heard for this issue. Joining with the group CASM, Kiwis Against Seabed Mining, is essential for learning when the applications for seabed mining will be put in and the 20 day period where people can put their submission in and let their voice be heard that they don't want seabed mining here. What you think about that? Mm. For the Maui's dolphin, it's now or never, it's all or nothing. If we don't do everything we can for this iconic species, she'll be lost forever. Stand up, New Zealand. Now, there really is so much to lose, and there's very, very little to gain with this project.